Hello, this is William McKissick with Schooly Mitchell, your expense reduction specialist. And as you know, personally and at the Schooly Mitchell model, we like to promote and support other businesses. And we're doing that today with Kevin Maloney, who is with VC3. Um, they do outsource IT and cybersecurity. Kevin is the senior account executive with VC3. And um, that's a mouthful for a Scottish person to try and get out. Um, but anyway, Kevin, welcome to the show. Thanks, Well, I appreciate it. It's my pleasure to have you. So to get the ball rolling, and this is very brief, we just want people to understand a little bit of where you're coming from um, and what you do. So to get things rolling, tell us a little bit about Kevin. Tell us who Kevin is. Sure. Uh, when I'm asked that question, I, I would start with um, I'm a husband, and um, I'm blessed to be a father of six children. Um, and I am a, a passionate promoter of cybersecurity. Um, so that's a little bit about who I am. So so you're you're in the business you're passionate about. I see also you've got the New England Patriots there behind you. So I'm guessing you're you have another passion there as well. <laughs> yeah, very much so. Yes. I am a New England boy uh through and through and and I've been fortunate to be down in Florida for the past two and a half years. Nice and welcome to have you although I'm not a native I've been here quite a while myself in Florida. So, Kevin, tell us a little bit about VC3 and um, what you do and, and what it entails to, to be a client of your company. Yeah, I, I'm blessed to work for a company like this. Uh, so VC3, kind of big picture, is an outsourced IT and cybersecurity company. Um, a little bit more macro, we work with uh, really kind of executive level, uh, either with municipalities or in private sector. Uh, who are concerned whether or not the organization is capable of detecting a cyber breach in real time, or those who are just concerned about the IT budget and concerned about money, want to make sure that they're getting the most pain, uh, bang for their buck. Uh, and lastly, those who uh, have this feeling about their service that it's more um, reactive rather than proactive. So that's kind of on a micro level of uh, why companies want to speak with BC3. Yeah, it sounds like you target companies with a lot of moving parts. When you mentioned local government, I, I have a local government background myself. I worked yeah. for 20 years in local government back in Scotland. So I know, I know there's so many moving parts in an organization like local government where you can take your eye off the ball and you can miss things and security leaks, IT things can break. So it makes sense that you guys get involved in that particular arena. Yeah, yeah, you're 100% correct. And, and really, VC3 uh, kind of grew out of servicing municipalities. Um, and it's really important because they have very unique, like you mentioned, moving parts and unique needs. Uh, specifically, a lot of municipalities, they have police departments. Police departments need 24-7, 365 uh, assistance. They need to make sure that they're protected. They also need to make sure that they can access uh, databases. They can access the server, even if it's 2 o'clock in the morning on a holiday. Right. So we are there to be able to help them with true 24 365 support. And what's nice, Will, is that translates extremely well to my private sector clients uh, because we are already set up to provide that for our municipalities. This is a service that we can offer to our private sector. Yeah, as I say, I, I know the 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 public sector very well. And if you're an organization and you've fine-tuned been able to work in the public sector, it's very easy to take it to the private sector because the private sector tends to be a little bit more streamlined than the public sector because public sector has officers, committees, and directors. There's so many people involved. I know I know you have that in the private sector, but moving parts, again, I keep going back to that. There's, there's many more moving parts, so it makes sense that it'd actually be easier for you to take that model, that knowledge, um, and take it into the private sector. So yeah, that's amazing. So where, where are you guys based? Where, where yeah, is a great question. Um, we're headquartered in Columbia, South Carolina, uh, but we're currently in 32 states throughout the country. Yeah, well, that took away one of my other questions. So 32 <laughs> states, is there any reason why you're not in all 50 states? Uh, because we haven't got there yet. Yes, we can support um, all 50 states, uh, but we don't have uh, offices in all 50 states. Oh, okay. Yep. 
Yeah, no, that, that makes sense. I mean, you can still work. But the, the point I was trying to get to was that do you work in all 50 states? 100% work throughout the entire country. Fantastic. And and obviously a, a typical client is like a local government. So what, what does a typical client look like in the pr private sector? Yeah, in the private sector, um, you know, companies that have employees of about 20 to 200, 67% uh, of those companies outsource their IT. So that's a really good uh, type of client for us, somebody that, you know, 20 employees to 200. We work with companies that have less than that. We also work with companies that have much more than that, but that's kind of our niche. Okay, a sweet spot. So yeah. I'm not going to ask you to produce a price list, but so what does it normally cost the customer? Does it debate? Does it depend on what their actual needs are and, and what the budgets are? Do you work within that that kind of like needs versus budget? A hundred percent, right? So when we sit down with somebody, we're, we're really just looking at the needs uh, to begin with. Um, sometimes people need us to come in, become their IT department. Sometimes it's working with their internal internal IT, and then or uh, just offering them cybersecurity that they don't currently have. Um, so the price range, as you can imagine, uh, is is pretty wide and yeah. we would work with. To kind of give you an idea, I mean, we do have clients as low to maybe $1,000 a month. Um, as far as how high, I mean, it's it, the sky's the limit. I would say between five and 10,000 a month is kind of the average, but again, there's a lot involved in that. And we're really looking at what the needs are for uh, who we're dealing with. Yeah, I have another question in my mind is that you're obviously, you're not there to step in the toes of the existing IT support within a company or organization. Is that correct? Yeah, great point. You know, a lot of times when we start talking with somebody, uh, Anybody who works in IT can get a little defensive when they hear outsourced IT. And I completely get that. If if somebody has internal IT, our job is to make them look great. Our job is to support them and support the organization. So we are not trying to come in, step on any toes. Uh, toes. We're actually coming in to work with them and better support the organization. Yeah, I, I get that. That's exactly what it's like with Schooley Mitchell. Yeah. Some people, some companies or people within organizations get defensive. And we're not there. We're there to make them look good. We're there to bring that added knowledge into the business, that added support that, that isn't normally there. So I can see that your company is doing the same thing where you're not stepping in twos. You're trying to help people and bring that added knowledge um, and added support, just like we do at Schooley Mitchell. So that, that's amazing. So is, is there anything else you'd like to tell anybody that's watching this video? Yeah, I, I, I think that, um, you know, a lot of times people are concerned to kind of share about their IT um, or share about their security. Uh, and I, I completely get that. They don't want to be uh, judged for one thing. They don't want to be... Um, uh, Undressed. Really kind of sharing the internal, uh, uh, like a, a concern about, well, if they know how I'm set up. Listen, if you have ever thought about security, about money in the budget, or about your current service, any of those things, feel free to reach out to us at VC3. We'll come in, we'll have a discussion with you. We're not going to have a dog and pony. We're not trying to sell you tools. We're talking about your situation and customizing what's best to make sure that you're 100% secure, right? Um, I tell people all the time, Will, listen, you're not going to uh, necessarily prevent a breach. It's not a matter of um, if you're going to get breached. It's a matter of when. Yeah. But to be 100% secure, you have a plan in place to be able to respond, uh, to be able to detect and respond to a breach. And that's what we want to help companies with. Fantastic. Thank you, Kevin. That's been a really good, great overview. So anybody watching this video, um, you can see Kevin's details at the bottom. And you can clearly see a company that knows what they're doing, but they don't want to step on anybody's toes. They want to support and bring that added knowledge to your business or your organization. So Kevin, thank you very much for coming on this short interview. It's been great to have you here. Well, I appreciate you having me. My pleasure. I'll now hand it over to Dave for the weather.